Welcome to Agriculture Central. In today's video, we will discuss the care and management of pregnant cows, a topic of great importance for dairy farmers. Ensuring the health of cows and successful deliveries are vital for farm productivity. We will explore the essential steps farmers should take during pregnancy to maximize cow well-being and ensure healthy offspring. If you are new to the channel subscribe and hit the bell icon to join our agriculture and farming community. Let's dive in. Before Parturition Once a farmer confirms that their cow is pregnant, the first step is to isolate the cow to prevent any unwanted incidents. The farmer should carefully examine the shed for sharp objects, such as nails, and promptly remove them to avoid potential injuries to the pregnant cow. It is also essential to trim the cow's hooves regularly to maintain a good grip on the floor. The floor should not be slippery, and hygienic conditions should be maintained by promptly cleaning cow dung and urine. Nutritional requirements vary throughout pregnancy, so consulting a veterinarian for a balanced diet during different stages is crucial. Following the veterinarian's advice on providing the appropriate vitamins, minerals, and supplements is essential. Regular checkups by an experienced veterinarian are recommended during gestation to ensure the cow's well-being. Towards the end of the gestation period, farmers should remain vigilant for signs of calving, including swelling of the vulva and udder, thick mucus discharge from the vulva, and behavioral changes like restlessness or frequent urination. If these symptoms are observed, the cow should be immediately moved to a clean and disinfected calving pen. The farmer should also check the udder for any calculi or lumps and consult a veterinarian if any issues are found. Before milking begins, the teats and udder should be washed with slightly warm water to prevent contamination. During parturition During the parturition process, the cow should be left undisturbed, and the farmer should observe from a distance. If there are delays or difficulties in delivery, it is important to seek immediate assistance from a veterinarian. Typically, parturition is completed within two to four hours, but if complications arise, veterinary consultation may be required. The calving pen should have a non-slip floor, and placing a rubber pad can offer additional comfort to the cow. Adequate ventilation is also important in the calving pen. After parturition Immediately after parturition, the floor area should be thoroughly cleaned with disinfectants to prevent the attraction of flies. The tail and genitalia of the dam should be washed using a potassium permanganate solution, preferably with lukewarm water. Usually, the mother cow cleans the calf herself, but if not, the farmer should assist in cleaning the mucosa covering the calf's nostrils, face, hooves, and body. Proper cleaning is vital to maintain hygiene and prevent contamination. The placenta is generally expelled within a few hours of delivery. If it does not expel within 8 to 12 hours, it is important to consult a veterinarian. The cow should be prevented from consuming the placenta, and proper disposal of the expelled placenta is necessary. The first milk secreted after parturition, called colostrum, is crucial for the calf's health. The farmer should bring the calf closer to the teat to encourage sucking. Additionally, offering slightly warm water with molasses to the cow can be beneficial. As the cow starts lactating, the farmer should ensure that the nutrient requirements are met to maintain its overall health. Consulting a veterinarian for a balanced ration is recommended during this period. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.